Hello everybody, uh, we are going to talk now about the Romanesque painting um, the first thing we have to know is that the subjects they use uh, are going to be always uh, religious one, ones because um, as you know they the majority of the population didn't know how to read so the only way to teach them about the Bible stories was to use these uh, paintings and the sculptures also okay so this is it the um, we have uh, popular motifs like Christ in majesty and the virgin and child we have both of them here this would be a Christ in majesty which is yes a Christ Sit, uh, seated on a throne and the same for the virgin virgin but with a child okay with the infant uh, jesus okay they are surrounded by other characters we can see here um, this is not only um, christ uh, seated but uh, he's also surrounded by the evangelist uh, we have four evangelists, okay. Um, in the case of the Virgin, we have that uh, she is surrounded by uh, the three wise men, no, los Reyes Magos, <laughs> serían esos personajes que están con la Virgen, okay. So, um, other than the these popular motives, we have the. Uh, we have to talk about the human representation in Romanesque painting and the color. Okay, the human representations um, are going to be rigid and schematic. But how can we tell uh, a painting is rigid and schematic with an example? Well, this is this is easy. Well, this is a rigid. Uh, painting because um, first of all the Christ is seated no? he, so he's not showing any movement at all we have the foldings uh, the folds of the clothing that uh, have parallel lines we have a lot of straight lines the the arm the arm that we have here is very stiff it's kind of rigid Okay, also, even if we have curves that are giving a little more the feeling of movement, at least in this painting, okay, we are still far from representing this in a natural uh, way, okay. So, this is rigid because of the straight lines, the parallel lines. Again, some of the limbs, like the the arm, is uh, still stiff. Um, and the same for the virgin. Okay, we have we have the three wise men that are in a static position. Okay, like standing, but uh, not moving. Maybe he is trying to show some some more movement because of the uh, he's uh, bending a little bit uh, his knee okay but as you can see the virgin is seated which is very static then we have a lot of parallel lines on the foldings um, the limbs of the infant jesus are stiff uh, so the same we can say about the limbs of the virgin okay so is exactly the same thing okay uh, we can also say and that's why I uh, use this image here we have to say that they use um, black outlines okay can you see these lines here surrounding all the figure okay that's what we call black outlines okay they are surrounding all the figures okay as you can see that everywhere in Romanesque painting um, finally as you can see they use bright colors like red or blue the 
there is a symbolism behind those colors, but you know you don't have to know about that, okay? Um, again, um, this is basically all, okay? Bright color are going to make these uh, paintings more visible inside the church, okay? I hope you, I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Um, uh, see you soon.